Hi friends, my name is Dr. Lavanya and I'm a general practitioner who works in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. This video has been done as a small initiative to create public awareness and the topic that I have chosen here is the question that I've been hearing very frequently during the last few weeks. It's about coronavirus. What is coronavirus? Coronavirus is a group of virus that is seen both in animals and in humans and cause a range of symptoms ranging from small common cold to the severe symptoms like the SARS which we have heard in the past as well as a Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. Now, why the name Novel Coronavirus? This strain of coronavirus has been first isolated in the Wuhan province of China in December 2019 and hence the name Novel which means new. Now, how dangerous is this virus? This virus can cause symptoms ranging from common cold, cough and fever and it can cause severe symptoms like pneumonia and even breathing difficulties. But the severe symptoms has been seen more commonly in people who have other accompanying conditions which depresses their immunity like diabetes or heart condition. Now, how does this virus spread? This virus spreads mostly in the form of droplets. These droplets are transmitted or passes on from one person to another when they cough, sneeze or through the droplet that come out of the nostrils. Now, it is very important to know how we can prevent the spread of this virus. So, as I told you, the first and most important part is hand hygiene. Washing your hands with soap and water whenever they are dirty and making sure that you use an alcohol rub when it's visibly not dirty in order to keep them clean and prevent the transmission of the virus. The second most important thing what you can do is to use a tissue or to at least use your elbow to cover yourself or your mouth when you cough and so that you're not spreading the droplets and also making sure that you dispose the tissues straight away into a bin. In case in you know anyone who is sick or who has symptoms of cough or fever or any upper respiratory symptoms, you can try to keep a minimum distance when speaking with them or when conversing with them so that direct transmission of droplets is not possible. Now, another thing which we need to be careful about is to avoid touching our eyes, mouth or even nose with dirty hands because our hands tend to get in contact with or get contaminated with thousands of bugs and we don't want the transmission of them from our hands direct to our eyes, nose or mouth when we rub them. So just be careful about hand hygiene again. And in case of any symptoms that concerns you like high, having a high temperature, cough or any breathing difficulty, certainly seek medical help at the earliest possible time. Now, the next question is, can this virus be treated? No. There has been no specific treatment till date for this novel coronavirus. Antibiotics are not effective as this is a viral condition and as always said, viruses cannot be treated with antibiotics. Most symptoms caused by this virus needs symptomatic care, which means taking care of the symptoms which concerns the patient. Now, let me try to answer a few doubts which come, which may might have crossed your mind at this point when after hearing about this coronavirus. Is it safe to receive parcels from China? Now, the question till date is yes, because it has not been proven that any person who has received a parcel from China have got coronavirus. This virus tend not to stay on dry surfaces for a long time and hence, I, you know, till date, it has been found safe. The next common question that comes to your mind is, can your pets like cats and dogs spread coronavirus? No, 
there's no evidence that our pet animals like cats and dogs have been infected with this new strain of coronavirus. But it's always a good practice to clean your hands after getting in touch with animals or animal products. Now, as I told you about pneumonia, a question that it can, coronavirus can cause pneumonia. A question that might have crossed your mind is, does vaccinations against pneumonia protect me from coronavirus? The answer is no. Vaccinations which has been done for pneumonia doesn't protect you from coronavirus as this is a new strain as explained to you before. Are there any specific treatments or vaccines available for this virus? No. Till date, there is no specific treatment or vaccines available for this coronavirus. Research in this pathway is going on in the various parts of the world. The only thing that we can do at this point once found infected is the best provide the best supportive care. Now, as I told you, it is very important to detect this virus as at the earliest and hence your travel explaining your travel history to your doctor is very important along with explaining the signs and symptoms. Thank you friends. Hope that my this little video would have at least solved a few questions that would have come in your mind. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel and I will be coming up next week with another topic of interest, most likely cervical cancer screening. Thank you.